In 2004, after 17 seasons and 11 championship trainers' crowns, in partnership with his father Dave, Paul O'Sullivan relished the challenge of an invitation to the greatest racing jurisdiction in the world, Hong Kong. Well, as it turned out, I probably had no idea. I remember the first day of track work and the horses were coming out and I was saying, what the hell am I going to do with these? You know, it's a big change to train, training here in New Zealand, to train in Hong Kong. and uh, It's a place you adapt or die. And uh, I think I adapted reasonably well, but um, it took a long time. He's kicking on the inside, and Zach Purton takes out the sprint on Aero Velocity. Shadow runners in front, and there's 500 for Paul O'Sullivan. Now 18 years, 516 wins, and over $525 million in stakes money later, a Kiwi flag bearer has returned home. I think Hong Kong makes every trainer a better trainer, you know, for absolute sure. And um, as I said earlier on, you adapt or die, and I've seen some, some highly credentialed trainers come to Hong Kong, stick with what they've been doing, and uh, disappear out the gate. So I think it's, um, I think one part of being a very good trainer is being able to adapt and, and realise that you, what you're doing is wrong, and you need to improve it. The pin-up horse for Paul O'Sullivan in Hong Kong was clearly Aero Velocity. With five Group 1 wins and success away from home base in Japan and Singapore, the pair became revered. I was talking to David Hayes up there once, he said, if you get down to 25 horses, he said, you're out, you're gone. So I came back that year with him, you know, it was 26 in the stable, and uh, I had 60 by the end of the season. So one horse can make a very big difference. Rich Tapestry down the outside, but Aero Velocity is clear over Emperor Max, and Aero Velocity is going to take the press flyer. Aero Velocity for Zach Deacon. Paul O'Sullivan, how does that feel? A Group 1 international spread here in Singapore. Yeah, I, th I think every time you travel away, it's more of a relief to win than a thrill to win. You know, we're a long way from home. Um, you know, he might have won with a little bit in hand. I sort of, you know, he was sitting pretty for a fair way. Um, so, but we're just relieved and very thankful to win. Racing in the Takamatsu no Miya Kinen, Daiwa Majore blew the start out the back and aero velocity commenced well. It was a funny track. It was sort of, they had the false rail out. So there was sand and there was sort of tubular grass four inches long. So I walked the track with Zach the, the day before and Zach said to me, he said, we'll be we sticking to the sand, you know? And as clever a rider he, he is, when he, he's the sort of horse that used to travel very strongly into his races and then sort of grind it out. But he was sort of gone at the 400 and he just pulled him out onto the grass and wish away he went. Zach Burton getting desperate on Aero Velocity. They've got to catch Huck Sun Moon. Aero Velocity jumping out of the ground. Aero Velocity goes to Huck Sun Moon. Hong Kong gets up and wins. They were deciding whether to go to Dubai or come here. The shorter trip prevailed. And Zach Burton has Group 1 success in Japan uh, with the O'Sullivan family. The last time they did that was 1989 with Horlicks in the Japan Cup. From New Zealand racing royalty origins, Paul O'Sullivan can be very proud of his personal achievements in the toughest racing environment of them all. And there was no surprise from his legion of supporters that the 18-year stint ended on a high. A turquoise out for Murray's partners, bright kid. Turquoise out for Zach and Paul O'Sullivan, yes! It's the best thing that ever happened to me. You know, I was just, um, just blessed to get the chance. And, uh, you know, if I wound the clock back 18 years, I'll certainly do it again.